good morning children children this lesson is of class 7 for the subject of mathematics topic fundamental operations and it is submitted to you on 30th november 2020 in the previous lesson we have discussed what is an algebraic expression what is literal what is constant we all have discussed this now today we are going to discuss how can we add how can we subtract the algebraic expressions so let us start our topic first addition of algebraic expressions here we simply add the coefficients of like terms students always keep in mind we can only add the like terms for example 5x and 2x these all are like terms why they are like terms because they both have variable x having power 1 so these both are like terms it means we can add them so now 5x plus 2x will gives you 7x now let us move to another example minus 3xy plus 5xy plus 2yz if you see carefully this contains xy this also contains xy but this contains yz it means these two terms are like terms and this is unlike to these two terms clear so it means we can add these two terms and this will remain as such now 5xy minus 3xy will give you 2xy plus this remains as such now this will be our final answer we cannot add these two terms why because the variables are different now we have already discussed that we can add the like terms only similarly in case of subtraction if we see we can only subtract the like terms like if you take an example in your daily life if you have seven pencils and eight books and i am asking can you please tell me the total quantity you have you will say yes seven pencils eight books but if i ask you again tell me the total quantity then you will say ma'am i cannot add pencils and books because they both are different so here also the variables are same means they are like terms so you can add them clear children now let us discuss few questions based on addition of algebraic expressions suppose we have to add this expression and this expression first of all let us write it like this 5x square plus 2x plus 
x square plus x plus 3. Clear? Now, 5x square and this, these are two like terms. So, let us write them together. Next, 2x plus x. These are also like terms. So, let us keep them together. Now, we are left with the constant terms only. Means 1 and 3. So, 1 plus 3. Now, this is 5x square plus x square will give you 6x square plus 2x plus x will give you 3x plus 1 plus 3 will give you 4. Clear? This method is called horizontal method because we are doing the addition horizontally. There is one more method which is called column method. Column method. You can follow any method to solve the question students. Now, we have to add 5x square plus 2x plus 1 plus x square plus x plus 3. Clear? Now, let us write them column wise. 5x square plus 2x plus 1. Now, next expression is this. And the first term is x square. Now, you have to write this term under the term containing x square. Now, is there any term containing x square? Yes, this is the term containing x square. So, I will write x square here. Now, next term is plus x. Now, is there any term containing x? Yes. This is the term containing x. So, I will write x over here. Now, we are left with the constant term that is plus 3. So, I will write plus 3 here. Clear children? Now, let us add them. Column wise. 5x square. There is no constant means 1. 5x square plus 1x square will give you 6x square. Plus 2x plus x will give you 3x. Plus 1 plus 3 will give you 4. So students. If you see carefully, the both method are giving us the same answer. So, you can follow any method to add the algebraic expressions. Now, let us move to next question. Here we have to add this expression, this expression, and one more expression. Clear? First of all, we will write it like this. Horizontally method I am following. Now, this is 2x raised to power 4. 2x raised to power 4. Now, let us start finding the term containing x raised to power 4. Is there any term? Yes, we are finding 
yes there is a term containing x raised to power 4 so it means we will write 2x4 minus 4x4 together so what we get 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 clear now 3x cube y is there any term containing x cube y students don't get confused x cube y with x y cube they both are different because here the power of x is 3 and here the power of y is 3 so they both are different now 3x cube y let us start finding the term containing x cube y here is the term minus 2x cube y then here is the term 6x cube y so you can see i have joined them you can also write them separately now 3x cube y minus 2x cube y is 1 and 1 plus 6 is 7 so i have written 7x cube y next term is 5xy cube now start finding finding the term containing xy cube yes this is the term containing xy cube then then this is the term containing xy cube so you can see i have joined them now 5 Plus seven, twelve, and twelve minus three is nine. So I have written here nine. Now the next is minus nine. That is a constant term. So let us start finding the constant terms now. Minus nine. Then, then plus two. So what we get minus. 7 so this is our final answer now let us move to next question find the sum of 1 by 2 xyz xyz 3 by 2 xyz and minus 2 xyz first of all let us write like this 1 by 2 x y z plus x y z plus 3 upon 2 x y z minus 2 x y z if you see these all are like terms so it means we can collect them and we can add them now i have collected them now let us add them so this cons very coefficient is 1 so let us add the coefficients 1 by 2 plus 1 plus 3 upon 2 minus 2 keep them in a bracket and write the variables that is x y z now we can take the lcm here what we get we get 2 1 2 3 4 3 4 x y z so what we get 3 3 6 Minus four two two upon 
टू एक्स वाई जेड सो दिस विल कैंसल सो फाइनली वी गेट वन एक्स वाई जेड और सिंपली यू कैन राइट एक्स वाई जेड क्लियर नाउ लेट अस मूव टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दीज थ्री एक्सप्रेशंस आर गिवन टू यू एंड यू हैव टू एड देम नाउ हियर आई एम फॉलोइंग द कॉलम वाइज मैथड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव रिटर्न फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन देन आई हैव रिटर्न सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन बट कीप वन थिंग इन योर माइंड दैट द वेरिएबल्स कॉलम वाइज शुड बी सेम ओनली देन वी कैन एड देम बिकॉज इफ द वेरिएबल्स विल नॉट बी सेम like if you write like this x minus 3y plus 7z 10y plus 18x minus 11z then it will be difficult for you to add you cannot add like this so better is to write like this now next is Minus eleven x minus six y plus two z. So I have written x under x, then y under y, and z under z term. So now this is one nineteen minus eleven, that is eight. Then minus three plus ten, seven. Seven minus six, one. Seven minus eleven is minus four. Minus four plus two is minus two. Now, let us move to next question. Here I have to add this expression, this expression, this, and then this expression. Total, I have to add four expressions. So let us write. them like this now keep this thing in mind you have to do it very carefully because otherwise you can leave any term now first term is 3a square now let us start finding the term containing a square is there any term containing x square A square. This is the term. Then, then there is no term. So I have written them together. Clear? Now the next term is minus six ab. So let us start finding ab, ab. This is the term containing ab. Then ab, ab. Yes, this is the term containing ab. so i have written them in a single bracket next minus 7b square then 4b square then 5b square again i have written them together next is 7a this i have already used here so i will not write this now next is 7a 7a term containing a yes here is the term containing a so let us write them together next is 6b 6b plus 2b then minus 2b so i have written here together then then the constant term we are left only so minus 3 then plus 7 so i have written here minus 3 plus 7 now let us solve the brackets 3a square and 3a square they both are having alternate sign that is plus sign is here and minus sign is here so we will cancel them and we get 0 then minus 6 Plus four, 
is minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 4. Then minus 7 plus 4 is minus 3. Minus 3 plus 5 is 2. So 2b square. Then 7a plus a is 8a. Next 2b and minus 2b alternate sign we will cancel them. So we get 6b. Now minus 3 plus 7 will give you 4. Clear? 